Yeah, Corey, well, you and I have talked about this a lot, you know, on the show, finally getting you here and, and getting those reps and getting out on the field. What's the whole experience been like for you so far? Well, the whole experience was good, you know. Right now it's just a learning uh, stage right now. You know, I'm learning all the plays. You know, this practice, I think I did, you know, one of my best practices. You know, got all the formation, got all the plays down. And right now I'm, I'm comfortable right now. I can say that. Coach talked about the fact that you had made some good plays out there. Scott Schaefer was mentioning that. What does it mean to you when you know that the head coach, you've kind of caught his eye early on? Uh, I mean, it feels good that I caught his eye, you know. I mean, that's this feels good. <laughs> As far as the receivers out there, who's really kind of come out and helped you out and taught you a few things early on here in practice? Uh, uh, Brizzy, he teaches me a lot, you know. He's, I go over his house, you know, we study plays together, you know, we do a little feet movement together, you know, action, you know, help me out, you know. And all the receivers help me out, but I can say Brizzy helped me out in the you know, we live close to each other and all that stuff, so he, I usually go to each other every day, you know. What's Brizzly said to you as far as, you know, some words of advice because he had such a successful first year with Syracuse? Uh-huh. Uh, he just told me, you know, uh, what my routes, you know, just plant first and all that stuff. And, um, you know, he helped me out with the plays when I first got here. I didn't know nothing. You know, I was a new guy. And he was he basically took me on his wing and helped me a lot. He helped me with all the plays. So I give him credit. As far as the, rec- the quarterbacks that you've had out there, have you gotten a chance to kind of work with everybody or have you honed in on one? Yeah, I, I work with everybody. And what can you say? As far as Terrell Hunt, what can you say about what he's been able to do and kind of finding you out there in the field? What have you taken from him? Uh, yeah, he's a great leader. I can say that. Um, you know, his arm—he has a big arm. You know, he has a, his, he has a lot of strength in his arm. And, you know, he's just a big guy. And, um, he's a really good player. What about? having Austin Wilson out there. I mean, that's a guy that you got to get to know from a while back when you both made the decision to come to Syracuse. What's it been like to be with him on the field? Well, first being Austin was supposed to be roommate, so, you know, <laughs> I had to go to prep school and all that, so uh, that didn't work out. But Austin, you know, I go over his house sometimes, too. Actually, me and Austin live, like, right next door to each other. So I go over his house, you know, study the playbook and all that stuff, and, you know, study the plays and go to work. Another guy that you know well, A.J. Long, somebody that you do get to room with. What's that been like? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a different experience, but I can say he's, he's a cool guy. As far as being on the field with him, how would you describe his play so far? He's been doing good. You know, me and him told me that spring semester, uh, he, we've been doing really good. You know, he, he has an arm, too. All quarterbacks have arms. So, yeah, he's... Does anything separate them? I mean, you say that they all have strong arms, but can you kind of see a difference in AJ Long to Austin to Terrell? Uh, not really. They just, you know, they just have strong arms and you know they're good with accuracy you know, and all that. As far as your strengths right now, what would you say you feel you're doing best right now out on the field? I feel like I'm catching the ball right now. That's one of my strengths, catching the ball. Right now. As far as something that maybe you want to work on, is there an area that you think you can kind of hone in and get better at? Yeah, my heart. You know, that's the Brizzy one that helped me with that. So it's been getting better since I've been here. And what is it about the route running? Is it is it the playbook, getting to know the playbook down? Yeah, or it's just, it's just me thinking a lot, you know, about all that, you know, going, getting to play and seeing what I have to do and all that stuff, and, you know, thinking before I play and not going to do that. And then as far as last year, George McDonald was the offensive coordinator. This year he's got the wide receivers, so he obviously has you. What's he said to you, either in film room or on the field? What's George McDonald had to say? He just told me to get more physical with the corners and, um, you know, just get better out running and we'll be good. Are there any corners that have stuck out to you that yeah, you thought matched you know, up well? First guy, his wing, you know, it's kind of bullying a little <laughs> bit, but. I'm planning on getting him back. Yeah. What did now talking about Wayne Morgan? What did he do in his play that you thought was really physical when you yeah, say he was he, bullying? Uh, yeah, he was pushed me down. You know, I guess he gave me a little weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and so, are you are you hoping by the end of the spring that you'll be able to welcome yeah, him back? Definitely. <laughs> and lastly, from me, Corey, what have you taken away the most so far from your practices and? film and being around these guys, if you put it all together, what can you really say you've taken away from Syracuse football so far? I mean, I could say this has been a great experience since I moved in here, you know, everything is going good, you know, classes is going good, you know, that's one of my biggest things, classes, so we have to this first, but everything is going good right now, you know, I draw my teammates, they're pretty funny and everything, so everything's going really good right now. Who's one of the funniest people you've been around? <laughs>
Probably, probably uh, Darrell. Darrell? Yeah. Darrell. Hey, what's it about Darrell Eskridge that makes you so fun? He just makes a lot of jokes. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, dinner. He just makes a lot of jokes. Has he said anything to you about when he when he does get out on that field full strength that he's coming after you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right.